and our mental understanding of the present. Perhaps it lasts just long enough for us to hold on to and join our thoughts. But imagine that was all you had, just the sliver of time that is the present, without any memories of the past, nor expectations of the future. What would it mean to have no place in time? One man is consigned to live entirely within the present, with terrible consequences. Clive Waring has the worst case of amnesia ever known. Twenty years ago, he lost his memory, and now his wife, Deborah, is the only person he recognizes. really only has less than 30 seconds memory and sometimes it's as little as perhaps seven seconds it's as little as a sentence I'm going to see your sister Adele her daughter's got married recently uh, oh, in New Zealand uh -huh. and so they're having a party funny how the ladies acquire a different title when they get married do you know who I'm going to see tomorrow uh, Buckingham Palace no really guess I do don't you, know. you don't know mm. Adele Oh, is it? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know why I'm going? No. no. She's having a party at her house tomorrow. It's her birthday, isn't it? No. Yeah. Do you know why? No. It's to do with her daughter. No, I see. Do you why know why her daughter's having a party? No. Guess. No, I don't. She's just got married. Oh, I see. She's just got married in... Do you know what country she just got married in? No, I don't. In New Zealand. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. The sentence he is in, he will probably have forgotten the sentence before. You ask him a question uh, and he'll give you an answer, but while he's giving you the, the answer, he's already forgotten the question. That's how short it is. I'm going to see your kids tomorrow. You're going to see my kids? Yeah, your children. What are they up to now? Do you know what they're up to no, now? No, no. Guess what you think they're up to. No, I didn't. I couldn't guess. I don't know what their O levels were. They hadn't got an O level last time I was conscious. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know what possible thing they could do, did I? No. No, I couldn't could possibly guess. What? Where do you think they are? No idea. I don't know where I am. Yeah. Well, Anthony is the oldest. What do you think he's doing? No idea. He hasn't got O-levels last time I was yeah. conscious. So I don't know well, what he's, he's good at. He's, got, he's got a PhD now. Oh, is he? Oh, good. Imagine What's never recognising your own children or your own home. Sure. Not even knowing who you are not being able to hold on to the past or present for long enough to imagine the future. Do you recognize this place, New Anchor? I've heard of White Anchor. <laughs> Do you think you've been here before? No. Doesn't, doesn't look familiar? No. Salmon, lamb, pork, chicken. Chicken, I think, would be chicken. marvelous, yes. Char-grilled stuffed chicken. Yes, that would be marvelous. Oh, that's yes. what we were talking about, the mozzarella and... <laughs> Not only is Clive unable to remember what he's ordered for lunch, but he can't remember which flavors belong to which foods. What have you ordered? I don't know. It looks like chicken. Mm. What's it on? It's salad. Salad? Mm. Yeah, cooked salad. Cooked salad. Since Clive is unaware of anything that's just happened, he perpetually thinks that he has just come round from a lengthy period of unconsciousness. I've never seen anyone at all. I, don't, I never heard a word until now. I've never had a dream, even day and night the same, blank. Precisely like death. No thoughts at all. Brain has been inactive and day and night exactly the same. No dreams, even. Every time he sees Deborah, he believes it's the first time in years. 
He's stranded, if you like, on this tiny scrap of time. He has no past that he knows about, and he has no specific idea of the future. All he has is void behind him. It must be like death. I've never seen a human being before, never had a dream or a thought. The brain has been totally inactive, day and night the same. No thoughts at all. As far as I'm concerned, the doctors have been totally incompetent. I've never seen a doctor the whole time. <gasps> oh, look, it's comfortable. <laughs> 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 Mm. <laughs> That's a very musical kiss. Mm. I'm dizzy. I don't know which part of the room I'm studying in. <laughs> Can we dance? I think so. Right. Before his illness, Clive was a successful conductor and musicologist. And one of the few things that have survived is Clive's ability to play the piano. It has been devastatingly sad to watch how frustrating it is for Clive, who is the man I love, to suffer so horribly. I do not know of a more horrific state to be in than to have no knowledge of the whole of your life, no knowledge of any events that have ever happened to you, and no idea of anything except now. Clive's tragedy is to feel such intense human emotions without ever being able to anchor them into his memory. He's a man utterly lost in time. 